My name is yes. Shan from She Gets a Pod. That is Greg from Young Black and Bothered, and we are here with a hump day special. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So if you are not humping, you will be humping by the end of this. Guaranteed. We about to educate, all right? Yes. Um, she. All right. So where you want to start first? I, I want to start with where where has your mind been? I've been listening to the last couple of podcasts and you you have been on a, a sex driven, like th- th- this must be sex week for you. This is, I was Listen, everybody uh, getting sex but me. See, I get, that, oh that, oh it's getting to you now. Mm-hmm. You want some I mean, like? It, it's not getting to me, but it's just like okay, I'm gonna just keep marinating over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. You just cooking. You slow cooking, huh? Yes, okay. I'm like right now. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we got, we still oh. on the stove. Once we get in the oven, then it's gonna be almost ready. Okay. Now, if you say so, I don't believe you, but if you say so, I, will, I definitely believe you. Because I, I was listening, I was like, oh, her and Paco, they doing a show about it. She want to do a show. Okay. All right. Well, remember, now, we tried to do the show on um, Stereo mm-hmm. uh, last year, but then the shit kept fucking up. So we mm-hmm. like stalled it. So at the beginning mm-hmm. of the um, Raw or Naw episode, I left in the old uh, intro and then I added in like our current intro and just did the show but it was so funny we we basically got um, the feedback from the people that be on here in the afternoon mm-hmm. oh they crazy yeah um, we we might have to start switching up well obviously we can't in a couple weeks because I'll be back at work and shit but yeah, um, yeah like I, I've listened to a few of them and I'm like there's no fucking way they're this crazy um, yep well, this man was talking about fucking his dog. Yeah, I heard that. And the first message he sent, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Like, I get it. Like, you know. And then start getting has... more detail. Yeah. And then he said something about, like, you know, the dildo. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? Like, how did we get here? Y'all yeah. are some y'all are some nasty niggas and individuals. Because if you ain't black, you're just an individual in 2020. But wow, y'all are. Mm. Yeah. But, she, but see, this is this is the energy that you bring because you started it. You started it. Um, you know, because I had to ask Paco. I said, Paco, who came up with this topic? He was like, no, you came up with this topic. I mm. just wanted to get people's perspectives on how do they gauge their raw wing inside um, warm hot pockets. Warm hot pockets. See, you know what? You are the reason for the season. Not not the reason for the shit that's happening today, but hopefully the people that you know are in here that will be joining on stereo, they will they will be as traumatized as I will probably be at the end of the show. Cause I, what what I do know that you are capable of talking about and the things that you've already told me per the docket, mm-hmm. I am fucking terrified. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrified. Listen, I'm not alone, okay? You're a silent, a silent um bomb. And it's that's uh, all right. Right. So, what do you where do you want to start? Because at this point, I okay. I have a questions um, for you, but I know that you wide range because you married, mm-hmm. and uh, I just want to know what aren't you doing for your partner in twenty twenty one when it comes to um, deeds, sexual deeds. Um, oh. kinks, kinks people got out here like what oh. aren't you doing like that's nowhere on the list okay so things that I am not doing with my partner um, number one um, I am not masturbating with Icy Hot oh my god people do this yeah um, I had to look it up I looked up you know on the socials and that is a thing it was in 2020 like men you know they like to have their women like you know jerk them off with Icy Hot uh, apparently it's like a pain and pleasure thing now i don't know if you remember like maybe like five or ten years ago people were like oh you should never use icy hot during sex or something like that but then yeah. people decided to start using that shit and that is a, that's become a trend towards the end of 2020 people are literally the fact that you have to be told not to put icy hot on that part yeah but that's the thing people do shit that they're told not to do so imagine you as a guy now i don't know if women doing it but like guys are actually getting pleased by a woman 
masturbate or you know jerking them off with icy hot. I don't want that. I don't want that shit at all. Mm-hmm. I, I, maybe it's just me. I just I can't see me pulling out a jar of jelly and saying, you know what, rub that shit that's gonna go from cold to warm on me. Put the heat on my meat. No, thank you. I don't want none Put of it. The heat on my meat. Twenty twenty one. I'm writing mm-hmm. that down. See, there, there's some lot. Look now, I will say this live while we're here. So praise the shine and Lone Wolf ninety one. <laughs> They they are clapping and sending reactions, which means they are some nasty individual. So I, I'm just going to assume that they're nasty because they clap when I said no no heat on your meat. So somebody likes heat on their meat. I'm about nasty. to put, the, put the heat on my meat. 2021 hmm. <laughs> hot pockets. Well, uh, I, and you know what's up? What's funny is somebody left a message. I, I want to hear what they got to say because somebody right now is nasty, and I want to say. <laughs> Who is it? This is Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf is nasty. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that was crazy. See? See? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Y'all what are I nasty. Have about with, with the icy hot on the meat, okay? How long do you have to wait before you put that in your pussy? Because imagine your pussy being on fire from the inside. Well, I don't, I don't know how icy hot works because I haven't used it in years. Like, you know, just to like, you know, have it on your arm or something like that but i would assume that like once it turns warm isn't the sensation done with the icy hot like it's already done its job as a result like you should be fine right so it goes if the guy... cool it goes cool hot cool on the mm-hmm. external parts of your body but on the inside that's a whole different type of pink okay yeah but like say, like say if you put like ice in a woman's like pussy or something like that like it adjust to the temperature and then it melts so technically like at what first you... it burns as if it's something hot because it's too cold mm-hmm. I-, I need somebody to answer this question for me like what happens when you put an icy hot dick in a vagina like does that shit burn her does it burn you because you got a slit too I-, I need to know this this is probably how did we start the show here what the fuck Greg, Man, this is my, this is my you fault would act- <laughs> you would be asking somebody to confess their sins has someone put icy hot on their wings that is in the room? Please come forward to the congregation. Yes, you are, you are not being judged. This is the safe space. And, yes. uh Yeah, I need to know why y'all are putting icy hot on your dick and putting it in a woman. And does it burn? Please does- tell me. I'm curious. Oh, look at that. Got a voicemail already. Jesus Christ. All right. Here we are. Okay. Nah, I'm good. I'm laughing at you for even saying it. <laughs> See, like he like he's laughing, but he's intrigued. He's like, you know what? Hmm. Like, you know what? I might have to try that shit. See, you yeah. gonna try it? Let me you see. Try I know about an ice cube in my mouth and yes. sucking that choach. Yes. After or in yes. the meantime. Yes. You know, I make I know that makes them spin, but I see how it unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I have uh sucked a, a shaft, a dick or two, mm-hmm. with ice and Jolly Ranches in my mouth. Mm-hmm. And um I have used that liquid candy. It's a very sticky, messy situation, but I would never ever use icy hot on private parts. I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't even put it around the rim of my asshole. I, I wouldn't either. But I, I looked up um people who do this shit. So they call it the stupid um I guess she has this thing called the stupid store where she talks about kinks and stuff like that. Um uh-huh. acor- according to this woman, she says um she thought that it would be very painful getting you know giving oral so i'm assuming in the aspect of oral but basically what she says is if you give a guy oral sex before inserting you like he gets even more like erect as a result of the icy hot so the icy hot it warms up his dick so it feels like he's in warm pussy already and you give him head and then he sticks it in which to i you know the, the question i have is now you have warm icy hot throat and um a, a woman with icy hot throat. Now, does that mean that, that, that you know what? Shay, I need you to write it down. Um, if a woman uses icy hot 
before giving head, does that give her instant, um, what do you call that shit, uh, like gag reflex? Like, I think that's, it has to be true. It absolutely has to be true. Uses icy. Yeah, if, if a woman uses icy hot before giving head, does that give her uh, no gag reflex? That, yeah, that's a million dollar question right there. And I need all the women to, reflex. that is, now. Okay. There is like a spray mm-hmm. that in your throat. I wonder if that's the same ingredients. Now, wait, it's like a, it's a spray spray. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I, I remember this. So it, it was called Good Head. Good Head. Okay. Let me put that in my cabinet. Yes. So Good, Good Head, head. Um, apparently Dr. Johnson, um, it is what? something that... <laughs> that, that's what it says. The person's name is Dr. Johnson. So Good Head Deep Throat Spray is a delicious throat desensitizer <laughs> that will help alleviate your gag reflex during oral, turning Good Head into Great Head. And it is currently on Amazon for the low, 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 low price of $14.95. Damn, I just did a big order from Amazon like three, 30 minutes ago. Yeah. I, gotta, Yo, I got I a bag. I got a three dollar gift card. Now I got to see how many carbs and because here's the thing, I, I I'm trying to be healthy at 2021. So I got to see. Can you read a review, please? Read a review. Uh, I will read a review of Good Head. There are 42 reviews of Good Head on here. Oh yeah. Um, so, um, do we want to go by the most recent or do we want to go by the top reviews? The top reviews. Okay, this is from August 19th, 2016. This spray numbs the throat and seems to have some longevity. This flavor is like chloroseptic, so it's not pleasant for kissing before oral sex. Also, don't use the spray prior to brushing your teeth. It affects the longevity of your numbness. AKA, it's, it's pretty much like Novocaine at, you know, at the doctor's or at the dentist's office. Um, another review says, very strong minty flavor. Doesn't seem to help that much with numbing the back of your throat. So there's that. Um, that was in October of 2018. Okay. Then we... Uh, it tastes like a strong version of mouthwash. It does numb your throat, but it only lasts for a good five to ten minutes. So somebody First was giving. All, I don't even know if I can give head more than ten minutes. I would have locked jaw. I told you my jaws is like a pit bull. Yo, what what is up with women not wanting to give head for more than like five or ten uh, minutes? Like do like a constant motion, unless you have a Buster Rhymes mouth. Um. There has to be some type of ending to this, sir. Yeah. Or what is but, the goal here? But if, if here's the thing, as a guy, like if we're watching you give a like suck our dick or something like that, right? If you're doing that, we're watching you not for you going and doing the up and down motion. That's fine. But you can there's things you can do. Take it out your mouth, get a break, and use your hands. Then put it back in your mouth, put it on the side of your jaw, put it on the side of your face. All that all that stuff helps. Oh, like, so you it, want to be versatile. Yeah, you, you have to have versatility because we don't want you to have locked jaw. We don't want you to ruin the motion saying, oh, my God, my mouth hurts or, oh, you know, let's like let's start fucking. Sometimes a guy's like, "Nah, I want to start fucking when I'm about to start nothing. And as a result, I want you to give me that throat, baby, like that song say. So you, you know how this is. Listen. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for being a terrible person. I am up to no good and I have a drink. So oh, you're yeah, great. Some, wait, wait. And then bring the drinks, okay? I'm gonna play oh. these messages and I'm gonna go into my next question. Whoever in the fuck doing that shit, I feel sorry for them. Like, really, really, really sorry for them because I know for a fact that shit burn to the max. Yeah. I just feel sorry. Yeah. Um, what's up, Greg? Yo, yo, what's up? Listen, I can't. <laughs> okay, now, th- so people say if you don't want to use icy hot on your dick before or you know during sex, to use mm-hmm. the fire, uh, use fire and ice condoms. If you use those, it's the same sensation as icy hot without the burning. I was like, okay, um, there's that. Another guy says to put icy hot on your balls and i was like i absolutely am not putting icy hot on my nuts Why would you do that? some things i think people I, i'm not knocking anybody's kink if you into that be into that however certain things like putting like you know salt into a wound just it's not good so you were putting 
icy hot on your balls that have open pores. You might as well put it in your eyes, and I can't do it. Listen, y'all gonna mess around and have that slug dick. You know what happens when you put salt on slugs. I'm sorry. Did you uh, wait a minute? This is the name of the episode. Slug, slug dick. You know when when you put salt on slugs, they start shrinking up. You like get Man. that shit off of there. Slug dick. That that's somebody's nickname. That has to be somebody's <laughs> nickname in 2021. Like slug dick. That's the first time I've ever heard that shit in my life. Oh my um, god. Um. All right. I have a question. Mm-hmm. Are you? Are you licking feet for your partner in 2021? Yes. Um, I, I've been doing that for years. Um, but I, I've just been blessed by somebody that has like, you know, cute feet. So it's that just that. Um okay. but when when it comes to licking feet, there's like rules and regulations. There is no like, all right, you know, you just worked a hard day at work, you went to the beach or something like that, and then I'm putting them in my mouth. And then no, mm-mm. feet gotta be clean. <laughs> they they have that is that is rule number one. Um that's rule number one for me is licking feet. Number two, I don't need any sauce or spice on the feet. I'm not licking anything that I have to digest off your toes. So Ew. I've heard guys be like, oh, I'll lick peanut butter off her toes. I'll lick like, uh, what, what is that shit? Um, it's a powdery, it's a candy that it used to, like, it came in a pack. So it, I think it was called Fun Pop Dip. Rocks. So you had the- yeah, Pop Rocks. Yeah, that, no, not Pop Rocks. It was, uh, it's actual, it's a powdered candy. So what you do is you have- the powder on one side of the package, and then you have the little stick that you would suck the oh, sugar the dip, off. The dip, the dip, the candy yeah. dip. I need to come out. Yeah. So one of my boys, we're all drinking. He's explaining to us this is what like why he has a foot fetish now because his wife liked doing that. And I was like, wait a minute, like, w- what do you mean? Like you're licking fun dip off her feet. It, it's disgusting. So he's telling me he's like, no, Greg. He was like. You get the purple flavor. And I was like, wait, there's a certain flavor. Like, you just don't go into the store and be like, hey, they got watermelon. I'm going to just pick that up. He's like, no, you got to get the purple. So he explains to us that purple for him is his flavor is grape. So it doesn't taste like you're sucking toes. It tastes, what, what do you call it? A Tootsie Pop. He's like, it's like you're sucking a, like a grape Tootsie Pop. And I was like, how long are you sucking what? on her toes where she has sticky ass, like, fun dip toe? Like, that is, no. I, Yo, again, um, again, I'm not knocking anybody's kink or nothing like that. Do your thing. Me personally, Greg, if I'm licking feet, I don't want any toppings. This is not dominoes. I do not want toppings on my toes. I need <laughs> you to give me the naked ass toes, nail polish preferably. Um, for some reason, I just can't see me sucking like naked toes. Like it, it's just weird. Um, and hopefully, like you've gone and gotten a pedicure recently. Where like they do something with like the little hairs on your toes and shit like that. Yeah. I, I'm not yeah. So fellas, if you're I'm, licking toes like I'm licking toes, please do not lick them with fun dip. I'm too ticklish to have somebody lick my feet or touch my feet. Mm. Um to put my feet on your shoulder during the act. But I don't want you licking touching my feet or anything, cause then you just gonna change the whole mood. But I feel like there's a peanut butter kink group because mm-hmm. people like peanut butter on their pussies. People like peanut butter on their dicks. Yep. Uh, people like peanut butter on other areas and they just like to go ham. Listen, get your protein how you get your protein. I yep. ain't judging. Yo, the, the peanut butter shit is wild. I'm about to say something. It's probably going to be very gross to somebody. But there was a, a girl that we all were cool with. Um And she was explaining to us, you know, now she's married and everything, but she was like, when she was out here doing things, there was a guy that she had slept with. She sleeps with the guy and he had a like really big like deal with peanut butter. He loved peanut butter. He would lick it off her nipples. He'd lick it off her toe, all that shit. Um, The issue was he said he wanted role reversal one. So she put the peanut butter like on like his dick and everything to suck it. And he was like, he wanted her to go one step further. So he asked her to take his her finger and put it in the little slit. So as, <laughs> trust me, it's going to get gross. So as he's doing this shit, she nut, oh, I'm sorry, he nuts. And the peanut butter shot to the back of her mouth. She was like, that's the best tasting nut she's ever had in her life. And she says, ever since then, she's asked guys if they would let her put peanut butter on their dick before she gives them head. So I was like, yo, I got really? A question for her. Was it smooth or crunchy peanut butter? That that 
that I didn't get to ask. I, I'll text her and I'll get the results. But honestly, it was it was one of those things where it was so wild and ridiculous. You'd be like, yo, that why would somebody do it? But then when you leave that table or when you leave them people and you go home and you think about that shit, you're like, yo, I, I might want to try this shit. Um, because the way she explained it to us, it was like, most women complain about the way that nut tastes and the way that they don't like the consistency Me? and stuff like that. But she was like, if you even if you just put peanut butter around the head of his dick, that is just going to be the taste the entire time. So she was like, it's not like you're putting like a spoonful. She was like, just put a little bit on there. And what it's going to do is going to coat your throat. And it's better than all these like the good heads and stuff like that. And if he nuts, all it's going to do is capture in the peanut butter and it's still going to have that taste. So I was like, oh, oh your throat. <laughs> OK. Coach, yeah. So, ladies, if you out here and you giving up that, what is that shit called? That wop wop or what, what's that fucking word? That yuck yuck or yuck yuck. What, what are the fuck that y'all call gawk, it in 2021? Gawk, gawk. Yes. <laughs> that shit. That what, whatever y'all doing with that. <laughs> yeah. In 2021, I need y'all to go ahead and start using peanut butter because apparently that is the way. Peanut butter and you know icy hot, but just don't do icy hot. Go ahead and do the peanut butter because when okay. she told me that, I was like, yo, wait until I wait until I. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so when I go to Costco's, get the big thing of peanut butter. Gotcha. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. I'm going to play these voicemails, and we are getting to the next question. Greg, it sounds like you know a whole lot about this icy hot and sex. Yo, here's the thing. Like, I'm one of those people when, like, I research something, I research it for the good and the bad. And I was trying to find the good, but most of the shit was bad. So I was like, you know what? Nah. <laughs> Ate my cake. But next voice, bro. Absolutely. Licking feet. That's a must. Why not? She got pretty toes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Facts. Facts. Fun dip. Yep. See? Okay. So I know I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> I know so I'm what not... I use, I use Pop Rocks. Mm. For. Because that's fun to me and most men can't handle. Okay. Well, okay, so now that you've said that, so we talked to the guys, we all said fun dip, you said pop rocks. What are some things, I, I got to retort with a question for you. What are some things that you would deem edible off of you as a woman? What do you want a man to eat off of you? Um, anything you want. She anything. said anything. Listen, <laughs> you mm-hmm. could put some uh, mashed potatoes, some steak, and some A1 sauce. <laughs> to do as long as you get it the fuck up Mm-mm-mm. you know what I'm saying bon appetit you know what I'm saying mm. that don't even sound right like <laughs> not true <laughs> you supposed to be <clears throat> like you mean I don't mean like saliva supposed to be all over the, all over the place you supposed to I, I don't know like you know that tastes of peanut butter you over there just you just kissing on it. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> Bitch suck a dick. Listen. <laughs> oh, no. He said, Bitch what suck a dick. What yeah. like, did you eat yet? And she'd be like, no. And then he was like, all right, let me go get the peanut butter. Yo, but th- um, that right there, like if a woman goes to the fridge and gets something and says, you know what? I- I'm sucking this off you. Uh, right th- at that point, I paid your card note. That- that's it. Your card note is paid that month because that's some wild shit. Not I a lot of what is that? The uh the spray uh they spray cool whip mm-hmm. on um man chest and wings. They can't mm-hmm. handle it either. Um what else have I done? Uh what's the sugar thing? The pixie sticks? Oh yeah. Those. Um, my friend came over here the other day and she said this man snorted cocaine off her ass cheek. I said, okay. So people that's, really that, out here doing cocaine in Atlanta. Okay. Th- that was actually number six on my list. So <laughs> we can just check that off the box right now. Um, and number six on my list was what I'm not doing for my partner in 2021 was snorting cocaine off of anything on her or oh. off of her for that matter. Um, I- I'm not big into drugs if it's not in the form of flour. And um, cocaine some shit just, no like i think people saw that uh that leonardo dicaprio movie where he snorted like coke off the girl ass cheeks and was like you know what this is the wave i'm like yo your obituary is going to say <laughs> overdose while right. getting some butt by right. snorting through the butt that not the right. kid 
Listen. No, sir. No, ma'am. Wow. If a nigga did that, I would so straight up. <laughs> Go get the peanut butter. <laughs> I said that I shit on my booty hole. Be like, nigga, eat that. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. So, you know what? I, I got to ask. I got to ask. So, shout out to, I think it's Jose, right? So, Jose the Hype. So, I, I, like, as a, you know, a male, like, I've always said this in 2020, every show that I've talked about, I'm like, yo, like, guys are really afraid to get their ass eaten, right? Like, Some as a guys woman, really want it, and once they get it done enough times, they request it. Exactly, but that's the thing. I used to be one of the guys, I'm like, yo, like, you know, that shit ain't never happening to me. Ain't no yeah. woman putting her tongue there, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Newsflash. If and when it happened to you, the first time you're like, nah, this ain't it. I, I can't, no, just no. Because you, you, your your body is rejecting it because it's like, nah, this ain't it. But then, you know, you, you get into the moment, you're like, oh, this is actually okay. But there are some guys that I know adamantly, like, nah, I ain't gonna never fucking do that shit. But I have one friend who said for New Year's Eve, that was the gift that his lady got him. And he, he been talking about that shit for the past six days. Let's just say that. Mm-mm-mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Madness. All right. My next question is, um, can your partner or yourself bring in foreign objects to stick in holes in 2021? Are you oh, with boy. the shit? Are you with the shit? I, I, I don't know. Me personally, I am a, a male, like so. I, I don't naturally want anything stuck in me, probing me. Uh, if a woman decides to lick my ass, or you know, that's fine. That that's the extent I'll go, but the you know the plugs and stuff like that I, i'm not a i just can't do it it's not happening for me um however if you know my lady or some woman decides that that's what she wants to do she wants to wear a plug for her sure if she wants to you know dp herself like you know me and the thing then sure do that you want to incorporate toys and things sure do that but there is no probing for me there will be absolutely none of that shit um I, absolutely not now I have to ask you the same question. I have um, to ask you the same question. Nobody's sticking foreign objects in my holes. I'm good. Like, even when I'm watching pornos, and I'm just like, okay, we doing lesbian tonight on the menu. Let me mm-hmm. watch. They pull out a strap. I'm just like, okay, I'm good off of this next video. Like, I don't want to see it. If you wanted that type of object in any holes, bitch, mm-hmm. where's the man at? Where's the man in the flesh at? Because I'm not understanding yeah. how lesbians be wanting the man piece, but don't mm-hmm. want the man. Yeah, that has always, like for me, being a straight male, it, it's weird because uh-huh. I don't really have a dog in a fight when it comes to conversation. But when yeah. I hear like women try to explain to like, you know, lesbian women about that, I'm just chiming in. I'm like, okay, well, they've experienced it. Why don't you just like let them talk about it and you know, lesbian women always say something to the effect of, well, I know my body, she knows her body, and we're just using the object on our body. And I was like, does it work that way? Or is it more so the action between the two of you without the toy and the toy is just like a like a special effect? So I, I don't know. I don't have a dog in a fight with it. But for me, I've always wanted to know that question. So maybe a listener can tell us because I have no clue. Mm-hmm. Um. I just, you know, like, once the strap is pulled out, I'm good. I'm good money. Like, no. And then I seen, like, they have, like, pounding dick machines for women Mm -hmm. that allow this shit to go ham. Yeah. On that twat. And I'm just like, bitch, do you want your pussy to work after this? I always wondered, like, those machines that I've seen, maybe it's because it's like, okay, we're in 2020, 2021 at this time, like, and you see those toys and they look so like archaic, like what is what's that word? Archaic or whatever you want to call it. And yes. like it just looks like it's a drill with a dildo at the end of it. And it's just like probing the shit out of this person. And you're like, yo, like it has one speed and it's in like full force. So yeah. I, mean, I watched I watched one and I was amazed because I was like, yo, this girl is like that shit is hitting like her her fourth and fifth rib. And I was like, yo, th- this shit is not right. What What is going on here? So this- I was like, you know what? At, at this point, I had to check out because some things, especially that, um, she, 
I guess she was having such an intense, uh, intense orgasm that she couldn't tell the machine to stop. And there's no operator there. So the only way you can tell those machines to stop is to literally like just jump off them and then turn it off yourself. So I was like, so wait, if you can only turn it off yourself, how does it turn on? It has to turn on at that speed, right? Right. I, I don't know. I, ugh, just the, the thought of that is... It, I just feel like there's no way you can go back to a regular human being for a pounding after mm-hmm. doing some shit like that because what is your sensation? Your sensation is now gone. That is a numbed area. No, but you know, speaking on what you said about the straps, just tying that back in, like when it comes to straps, at least like when it comes to like women on women or at at that case, there might be like a woman that like picks her man or something like that. Like, how do you know the force though? Like when I see though, like the pinky uh, porns and stuff like that, when those was like, like the adult films, when they go and have sex, like when do they know, like they're going a little bit too hard? Cause as a woman, it's like, you know, the strokes that you want, but everyone I've seen with the strap ones, I'm like, yo, they're going like, you know, they're fucking like, like tigers and bears and shit. And I was like, whoa, yeah. that's, that's not, I don't think that's the motion that us as guys use. But then again, I, when I watch porn, I'm not looking at porn for like the act of the man doing it. I'm there for the woman. But when I see these strap one scenes, like just like you, when you watch lesbian porn, you're thinking sensual or something like that. But there's some of them, I'm like, yo, this shit just. Oh yeah, they be going. It'd be teetering the line for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Well, I don't know if you peeped it, but Dr. Miami tweeted, the dick extension is going for $599. Are there any men that are getting the dick extendo? Oh, I emailed him. I don't play that shit. (laughs) What? Shut up! You think I'm joking. I I literally emailed him. I was like, yo, if I can get an extra, like, two and a half... Like I'm good. Like I, I don't want I don't want like a 11, 12 inch stick. Like I, I don't need all that. Like I, I got the girth, but if I had like a little bit more length to that shit, whew, man, it's a motherfucking rap. Oh, how do you extend a dick? What 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 are you putting in place of the missing inches? I, I'm I'm assuming it's like fat transfers where they take it off like your ass cheek or your ankle or some shit like that. And they say, you know what? More girth for the earth, and just put that shit right on your More shaft, right? Girth for the earth, right? Exactly. Yeah, cause, yeah. I, me personally, I'm not ashamed. I'm like, yo, like, w- women go and get enhancements all the motherfucking time, so why not? If mind you, for six hundred dollars though, I need to see what the pros and cons are. If you're telling me I gotta go in like every like eighteen months and get a, a needle in my dick, then the yeah. answer is no. But if it's a one time, hey, by the way, from now on, you want you're gonna have a surgery, your dick, like. All the functions are going to be the same and yeah. you'll be completely fine. When you, you know, when you get hard, you get hard. When you get soft, you get soft. Like I'm not walking around with a permanent half chub after the surgery. Yeah. I'm not walking around. It's like, yo, why do we feel like I always got to piss? Because like my dick is halfway hard. Like I, I don't want that. And for $600, you can't beat that. I looked at how much that shit costs normally yeah. for, you know, like dick enhancements and surgeries and stuff like that. And he was talking about like six, $7,000. So Dr. Miami doing that shit for 600 um Look, yeah he's trying to take your whole stimmy once you hit the account hit him up okay man um, you know you heard you heard what i said um you need to go ahead and put that stimmy towards your jimmy and i'm with it <laughs> i just um when your friends be like girl you're not coming out you just stay up under your man and you send them a picture of you laying up under his dick and his balls like a canopy, that is mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's how it should be. Like, think of you, you want your lady to, when she sees your dick, she just she just stare at that shit. She's like, yo, that's, that shit's mine. Like, yeah, bless me. Should. Don't bless him. He's already blessed. Just bless me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had, um, you know, the disability dick. I prefer not because if you have a lot of dick, I'm gonna have to treat it like a subway sandwich. Give me a six inch now, and oh by six, I can take the rest. I don't know if I can do a whole twelve inch. All right, this pussy's going to be hollow, like sleepy hollow, and I have to go to work. Oh my lord! See, yeah. that's why we can't have nice good. Things. We cannot have nice things. Cause sure. Shan, Mm-mm. I can't. There's some women that have that deep, that deep dish. <laughs> I have a back to my 
hot pocket, okay? And most men can reach it. I don't need an extendo. I don't need hmm. that treat. Okay. So, so we're gonna change your name from she gets it pod to she gets it now and later because she gotta have six now. She gotta have six later. So she I gets love, it now and later. You know what I'm saying? They hard at first and they get soft and they could get back hard once you pop another one. We good money over here, okay? Oh Lord. I can handle that. My next mm-hmm. question is how much hair is too much hair on the ass? Um, because people are out here tormenting themselves with waxes and I really mm-hmm. want to know when my friends go get waxes and get their whole body um, hairless yeah. do men really give a fuck? We don't to an extent like I, I don't mind like you know hairy pussy I don't, I don't when I say hairy mean it like there's hair there um, yeah. the difference is like when you put on underwear and you're like your pube hairs are just like untucking themselves out of your underwear and they just sticking out and shit. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. Um, that okay. That's disgusting. But when it comes specifically to the ass, like I would ask, I don't, I'm not imploring it, but I'm definitely asking a woman like, yo, like if you go and get a wax for your mm-hmm. vagina or something like that, your ass, I'm sure you get that wax too. And according to like women that I know who have done this, yeah. the ass hair doesn't grow back as fast as the vagina hair. So that it shouldn't be long to begin with so yeah. the the length for me is like it's long enough where it's starting to connect with your pussy hair like there yes, is no that crack hair that crack hair is vicious yeah yeah i, I just i, I don't want to confuse the rooter from the tutor and if your your gooch area is black and or whatever hair color you got down there and the pussy and the ass hair that's all there and it's just like one big connected puzzle you know what I'm I'm gonna have to do like <laughs> Greg TMI, but listen, that crack hair is the only reason when I pull my cheeks back. Okay, no, but, but, <laughs> I gotta and, get it. I gotta but, get it. But it's it's fine. Like here's the thing, I, I don't I don't mind it. But when it becomes like long, long to the point where like if a woman if she's wiping like front to back and i'm sure you women do that shit but like as, yeah. as a woman's right wiping front to back and she's like yo like you know it's hard and it's frustrating for her and as a yeah. fella you know where i'm about to go with this um you know as a man when the the hair is too long on a woman's vagina when if you were hitting it from the back and she she got a little lint ball back there because she done wiped and she, even though she wiped properly it's still that like that semblance of like a t- like a little knob of a tissue because she wiped herself clean, but this tissue that's because it got caught in them hairs. I don't want pube hairs that long. That is the extent for me. So somebody's gonna be like, "Yo, how the fuck does he know that?" I have done a lot of nasty shit in my day, and that is one I said I would never do again. Please, ladies, trim it up to an extent. Please. Okay, listen, I don't have any more questions for this segment. Do you have any more questions? Oh, um, shit, I didn't even give you the final list of what I'm not doing for my partner in 2020. Okay. Well, 2021. Okay. Um, okay, so I gave you number one. I gave you number six. So here we are. Number two was fucking a fleshlight in front of her. Um, this is a thing. Um, I did not understand that guys are out here really like, I, if you do your own thing privately, like women have their sex toys and they fuck themselves privately, cool. I'm not going in front of my partner and using a fleshlight to fuck myself. Like at that point, you need to jump in and do some work because that is just not something I would ever see me wanting to do. So there's that. Number three, no candle wax. That shit might be sexy to some. That shit is not sexy to me. Do not pour hot liquids on me. I, I don't like that. It's not nice. Mm-hmm. It's not cute. Like that shit. Is, no, people are like, oh, it's kinky and it, it, it spices things up. Yes, it does. But this also called third degree burns. I, I don't want mm-hmm. none of that. Um. What I'm not doing for my partner in 2021, nut videos. I know women love that shit. <laughs> it, it's not happening. It is not happening. Why you text you and be like, Greg, you've been at work too long. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> Think they're about to come through with the nut. No, here's the thing. If I'm at work, I'm not going to a fucking bathroom like, hey, let me just wink this out and just hand it to you. And she lived with me. So it's not like, you know, she can't get it when she wants. So even if she's out of town, if she's out of town, I'm like, yo, like, you know, we can do a phone sex thing. Cool. But I'm not going and just, yo, I got to get a tripod. I got to sit the shit next to a pillow or something. And then I got to just let one go. 
And then I got to send that shit, which means I got to look at it before I send it to you. So I'm sure women be like, well, we do it all the time. But y'all look better at fucking. Y'all look better when you, you masturbate. Imagine me, Greg, of all people, just out here, just like, pull, you know, pulling that strings and shit, just going, boom, 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 whatever, whatever the fuck men do, and then sending that shit off. Not me. Not me at all. Mm-mm. Listen. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I wasn't done. I got two more. Two more and I'm done. Um, Number five that was on this list is having a threesome with another man, a.k.a. myself, Ooh. my lady, and another man. Um, somebody's going to be offended by that and you have every right me and my thing is this I don't ask any woman that you know I've never asked a woman that I've ever been with to bring a third in it was always something that came up and it happened what I'm not doing is giving the notion of hey well I brought a girl to do a threesome with you why can't we do a threesome with the guy no I that's the one thing I'm absolutely not budging on and I'm sure men like me think the same. Like, I'm not going and fucking no woman that I'm with or not with and having another dude there. I- I'm just not doing it. It's not about me looking at him. It's not about what he's doing versus what I'm doing. I'm just like, yo, I'm in the fucking room and I'm not waiting no turn. I, I-, I won't do it. So it's the answer for a woman. I think when women request another man and the other man the man that she's with is like, okay, I'll allow it. That says a lot about what that woman thinks about you. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I know never ever to even assume or think that I can ask that question to any of the men I'm with. Yeah. And it's it's no disrespect to women, because I'm sure somebody's going to be like, well, damn, is that how men think? Yes, it is. Um, (laughs) He said yes. No, and you know, I'm the only reason I'm speaking for all men is because it's like every guy I've talked to, every guy I know, and even guys I don't know that are on like social media and stuff, they say the same fucking thing. But they don't say it's because I'm insecure. They don't say it's because I'm gonna be looking at him the entire time. It's none of that. The answer is just I don't want to do that. And just like a woman, if she says, you know, to her boyfriend, to her guy, if he says, you know, can we bring another girl in the bed, you have the right mm-hmm. to say no. So that's on your curiosity if you want to do that. So me as a guy, my curiosity is not towards seeing how it's going to be with another man in the room while I'm fucking the person I'm fucking. That's just not for me. Um, Sorry, but not sorry. Thanks. Like, say for for example, Shane, like you, you, you're with this guy, right? And Mm -hmm. you are like, you know what? Like, I'm really digging this dude, blah, 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 blah. And he says, you know what? How about, you know, we spice things up in the bedroom? You're you're thinking, oh, well, he wants to go and do some kinky shit. Let me go get the toys. Let me go get the lotions. Let me go get the icy hot and shit like that, right? So you're going and you're talking about all that. And then he's like, nah, man, you know, there's a girl that I wanted to talk to. And, you know, I wanted to bring her in. I think she'd be a good fit. That's up to you. You can be like, you know what? Let me see what she look like. And then you're like, you know what? Like, I I don't like what she look like, but I have somebody that I might be interested in doing these things for, right? That's mm-hmm. usually how it, that's how it usually works for women. Every woman I've ever talked to that were proposition for a threesome, it either worked that way where they ended up picking the person that, the that they were in a. Th- that's key. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm telling you, every guy that picks the woman that they want to have a threesome with, that woman be ass ugly, ass fucking ugly. Like, and they don't have the standards that women have. The women that they even doing a threesome with. Imagine you are having a threesome with Holly Berry, and then you end up picking fucking j- just like you know, some some bozo off the street, some like street hooker, because you're like, she got a big donkey ass, but she got four teeth, but she got that fat ass. And that's what you want. You want a fat ass. Um, Women, they're like, no, like, I got to critique this person that we're going to do this interaction with. Men don't think that way. So that same situation, he says that to you. But then in turn, a couple months later, you're like, you know what, you know, boo, you know, we had that threesome with that girl. And that was fun. But you know, I want to see how it works. I want to see how it looks to have another man and you at the same time. He's like, what the fuck you mean? Me, what, what, what the fuck? No, that, what, what you mean? I, I gotta be in a room with you and another guy? Do you want me to just go in another room? All of a sudden it becomes a fucking questionnaire. And that obviously means us men, yes, we're insecure, but number two, we're not doing that shit. So in order to just like completely eliminate that is to say, nah, so me, no threesomes with another guy and my lady or a lady, nothing. Mm-mm. I would never and, want that. And my last thing for things I'm not doing for or to my partner in 2021 is sex in public places like that are like overtly. Come on, one time for the one time. No, 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 no. 
I'm all for sex in public places, but I'm talking about sex in public places that are just like, why would you eat like all the places and you could you could have gone there? Like uh, I wouldn't have sex in an alley. I wouldn't have sex at like yeah. for me like a library. Like certain things is like okay that shit is cute when you're like eighteen nineteen when you you can't go home and you can't go to a hotel or some shit like that. But me at thirty three, I'm not having sex in an alley. Like I'm not yeah. having yeah like I'm not having sex like on, like for me the beach sex is cool but I'm not going and just wanting that shit. That's something that you should check off from your bucket list before. When you go to the beach, normally you have stand in between creases that you thought you got three days yeah. later. Yo, like think how many people have gone to the beach? Just like, just like you said, your shoes, when you take off your sandals and shit like that, you can go yeah. clean your whole body. Your whole fucking body is like spotless. But the moment you walk out of the tub, you're like, wait, what the fuck? I got sand between my toes? That shit like that is why you don't want to have sex. <laughs> like you don't want to have sex on the beach. That shit sounds good until you actually have to do it. There's a lot of processes to that shit. You got to go put the towel down. Then you got to put another towel down because you know for a fact if you fucking on the sand, the, you know, the towel is going to lift up. Next thing you know, your feet got sand on them. It got into her ass and her pussy and shit like that. No, just no. But You know, there's something called um, sand um, mites. <laughs> sand want... mites. It's literally bugs that live in the sand. Oh, see, no. Mm -mm. Oh, I just Googled one. That shit. Who? <laughs> like, oh. I would for a man to eat my pussy, not a bug. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's a no for me. Um, Wow. Jesus. That that looks, it honestly is probably one of the most gross looking things I've ever seen. Yes, sir. It looks, it looks like a bed, it looked like a bed bug on sand. So, no. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else you got, Greg? That was my that was my list of the things I'm not doing for my partner in 2021. Okay, I'm I'm agreeing. I don't have a partner to do anything with for mm -hmm. 2020. Um, I don't know if a man's gonna come about that can feed me. Mm -hmm. So um, we just gonna put that on pause. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But um, I appreciate those who commented for that segment. Uh, this is Lama Stereo once again. We gonna get into another section of the show because hum hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know how you didn't know. I don't know who ain't tell you. I don't know if you're reading the uh, captions. I don't know if you on the She Gets It pod on IG or on Twitter, but the girl got merch, okay? Shh. I got to tell them this information. The girl got merch. I got you on sweatshirts. I got you on long sleeve tops. I got you on hoodies. I got you on masks if you pro mask out here, okay? I even got you on, um, you know, bags, you know what I'm saying? On the sign that you need to hide your stash in. Fanny Pack World, I got y'all too. Check out She Gets It Shop on Teespring, okay? I got y'all with the merch, all right? Now back to this show because y'all need this information because one thing I'm tired of is what I've been seeing and what I've been hearing. And we all need reality checks. We just do. Today special is not over, all right? So please share, please clap it up. That is Greg from Young Black and Bothered Podcast. Please check it out on, on your podcast platforms. I am yo, yo. Shan. She gets it podcast, all right? Add and follow the podcast. Just did a show today. Dropped it. And um, the next segment is going to be do's and don'ts on sexual acts. Mm. Mm. And when I say this, I'm going to give you an example. If it's dry, let it die. Okay? Oh, my Lord. Boob oh, or Lord. mouth resuscitation only if need be. But when a woman is dry, her body is telling you, you are not doing it. You are not it. So let's not do this. Let's actually watch the movie on Netflix and let's chill. Mm. Okay. Ooh. So remember, if it's dry, let it die. Okay. Put your, put your dick back in your drawers and, um, just apologize to her pussy for wasting its time. And <laughs> if you ain't got lube and your mouth can't do, your mom didn't teach you how to eat your food properly, uh, just leave her alone. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Because uh, there's a lot of women, because I was one of them, that had to help the current man by thinking of the man before him to get through the session. And if that's a repeated thing, that's your pussy telling you that you're being stubborn and you're forcing something to be that is not it. And Mm. he cannot do it for you, sis. So just leave him alone. Mm. All right? Agreed. So, um, what are your do's and don'ts for sexual acts? Um, you know, num- oh boy. <laughs> Number one, don't hawk spit on my dick. I like it wet, <laughs> not typhoon. Um, no, oh I, I, this is like this is number one on my list. I'm just not gonna be like, yo, Greg, but this is this thing got too many rules. It's not rules, it's a certain thing that, like, yeah, if it happened to you once and you didn't want it to happen to you again, it's a don't. Um, yeah, so for me, like I like it wet. Like, yeah. g- give me this, give me the spit and all that, but yeah. don't like, don't like hawk spit, and then like it goes from my dick to my balls, and then when I get up off your bed, there's like a big ass V there from all the spit you done left. I'm like, okay. what the fuck is that? That that, that what is not f- my idea of a good wet spot, especially Yo, that- when you hawk spit. That is you taking your sinuses mucus to put exactly. on my dick. Yo, but I'm sure you have seen, like, you know, on Twitter and on, like, porn and stuff like that. There's that girl who, when she cocks her head back and she's putting effort into spitting on the dick, that's not effort. That is a loogie. I do not want a loogie on my dick. I'm sorry. I don't. It Just seeing it, in, like, in my head, it's disgusting. So I, I just don't want that. Some guys, they into that. They into a lot of spit. And I do like a lot of spit, but I don't want spit where it's, like, that's just just dripping from like the corner of your thighs and just everywhere. So that is a don't for me. Um, number two, don't put your feet on my dick ever. Like that shit. Mm-mm. Like you know how your parents used to be like, you know, take your shoes off when you get in the house, or don't put your feet on the couch. Don't you ever put your feet on my dick. That is a that's no. That's nasty. I don't know why that, that is a thing. That and here's the thing: I don't mind feet. I love feet, but. Feet are meant to be on the ground. You know how you used to tell your kids, feet are meant to be on the ground. Leave them shits right there or put them in the air. Put them in the air, put them on the bed, put them on the floor. Do not put them on my dick. Okay. I agree with you. One of my um, don'ts is don't spit in any of my holes. That's nasty. Um, You're not about to fuck my pH balance the fuck up, especially if you smoke whatever the fuck you smoke and you don't go to the dentist no i'm great um and secondly i've seen people get fucked with feet Mm. like don't put your feet in my vagina i'm great Mm. like big head babies come out of there and i understand your curiosity but your nasty ass feet do not belong within me Mm-hmm. So don't do it. Don't even make that a thing. Leave that for them, and we know who them is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. Let me see. What, what else? I only had three don'ts. I have a lot of do. So, um, my last don't is don't say I usually don't do this. Um, I hate that. Don't say that. In anybody who says I usually don't do this, or I ain't done this before, or I, you know, but more more specifically, that I usually don't do this. When somebody says they usually don't do it for some unknown reason, they do it probably better than the people who have done it better to you before that know what right. they're doing. So or like, th- I ain't going to go into my hotels or nothing like that, but there have been circumstances where it's like, yo, well, I usually don't do this. And then it happens like, yo, what the fuck? Well, how'd you learn it then? H- how the fuck did you learn that? So for me, that's, uh, you know, those are my list of don'ts. My list of do's, this is just for two tw- uh, for 2021. Um, I learned this and I'm very intrigued by it. So I want this to happen. Um mm-hmm. Lady, ladies, if you are in reverse cowgirl, lick that man toes. Mm. That that now, mind you, I know I said a lot about feet earlier, but mind you, mm. I was talking about some other shit. Uh, according to the twitters, um, yeah. that shit they say it sounds it sounds gross, but in theory, it's one of the most kinkiest shits you can do. And in 2021, it is already on my list. It is on my vision board of some shit that I need to have happen, which is that. So, ladies, lick your man toes in reverse cowgirl. That right there, yeah, 
Mm -hmm. God, God yeah. bless America for any woman that does that. Um, number two, um, the dues. This is for women. So dues for women. Uh, look your man's ass. Like we might like that shit. We might love that shit. Just, yeah. just do it. Shut up and do it. Um, even if you don't want to do it, try it once. Try it once. Um, number three. Um, on list of things that are dues for sexual acts, um, suck the balls and the shaft simultaneously. Like mm -hmm. in order to, like we said earlier, like you know, if you are doing the, you know, you giving them head, you know, if you're giving them head, rub the balls with your hands. Like you got two hands, use them shits. If you you're sucking on the balls, jerk the dick. Like make I don't want to say make yourself useful because that sounds really fucked up, but you know, just like do less work for yourself by using the talents that you have. So that is definitely a do during a sexual act. Um, damn, I just thought about a don't. Um, oh, the don't that I had, but it's actually on your, your list too, so I'm gonna just leave that out of there. But um, number four and the final thing on the do's, um, I feel personally that somebody's gonna be offended by this, but I personally think that women should try anal sex at least once. If you don't like it, if you, if you don't like it if, 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 if you don't like it that's fine you you don't have to do it but every single person I've talked to that said that they didn't do it it's one of three responses one is well you a guy would you do it it's like no but I also am the one fucking you therefore like I'm not like I can't go and like tuck my dick under my ass and do me so I'm asking you like just try some shit like for me like my medium is having my ass eaten. Like if a girl lick my ass, cool, that, that's there. So I'm not saying there's something that I won't try completely anal, but as a woman, I'm like, just, just try it. You might like it. So there's that. Um, that's pretty much my list of do's and don'ts. Your list sounds worse than mine though. Oh my God, I'm, I'm just reading this and I'm like, Since You brought it up. This is on my list. Don't try the whole if we never spoke on it. Listen, oh. on, no surprises. Of what holes you trying to try tonight within me without having a discussion first. Because mm -hmm. my first initiation into the other hole was being horizontal. Um, oh. uh, no, being vertical and standing up. And mm. uh, being outside and being surprised. And uh, I didn't shit perfectly for a week because... I was I was scarred, okay. Mm. So have that discussion before you invite yourself into holes. All right, that's all yeah. I ask. And yeah. no, anal is not for me. Anybody taking anal on a daily and multiple times a day? Listen, there is a strong black woman within you because mm -hmm. I am not it. Next yeah. on my list, choke me out slightly. If you don't choke me out, you must not love me. That is my um, motto. Uh, deal with it. If you're scared to choke me out, then you're scared to have the best pussy of your life. Next. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. You are not going to just completely say that and just keep moving past that as if you were talking about your ABCs. Um, you have to explain the choke, though, because I'm assuming there's a certain way to choke. So is that something that's supposed to be a surprise? Because you're just talking to your listeners right now. So Spont when you say choke Spont me out slightly, is it like... Be spontaneous. But what a choke does is it says the things you don't need to say verbally. Sometimes you don't need to speak during sex. You just need to do. And the things that you do tell me how bad you wanted this. The things that you do tell me how much you're owning this. And choking is just one of them. Now, I'm not saying choke me out to pass me out. I'm not okay. saying that. But I do need a choking, okay? And if you don't choke me, we are now in a lesbian relationship. Wow. That is a high crack there. Okay? And it can be, you know, missionary choke it can be from the back choke um hair pulls is needed that is the number one reason why i'm going my hair back now because oh. i am <laughs> i miss that sensation okay we are now beyond the shoulders okay so we're coming we're coming <laughs> listen i'm doing the setup now okay these mm -hmm. are the requirements okay 
So, yes, the choking is what I need. Some women don't need that. Some women get scared. I do have a boundary for my choke. Like if a man's neck is thicker than me wrapping my hands around my own neck, I can't fuck with you because your slight choke is completely different from someone else's slight choke. Your slight mm-hmm. choke might end my life and I'm not ready. Okay, let me get my life insurance set up and then maybe we can speak. Another thing, if a man's arms, his upper arm is bigger than what I can wrap my hand around, I'm sorry, I can't fuck with you, okay? The Lord just puts you in a position to play ball or, or wrestling or whatever the fuck you need to do, but my neck is not it. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, you and this is you what I say trouble. not all women want these big muscle ass men because they don't know how to slightly do anything. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, and and Mm-mm-mm. big muscle ass men come with small wings, and I can't do nothing with that, especially if you're doing it from the back. And it ain't nothing but a slip and slide out. Lord Almighty. I, I'm terrified of these voicemails. I'm absolutely terrified. Let's play them. Let's play them before I go further down my list. Oh boy. Hey, that's crazy. You said that, Greg. Uh, I had a I had a buddy of mine hit me up talking about, man, my old lady wants to bring her home girl over. We're gonna have some fun. And I I brought that point up to him. I said, I said, all right, now, man, you got to think about it. What are you gonna do? She does you this favor for your pleasure. What are you gonna do when she hits you up wanting a dude? No, nope. he mm-hmm. shut it down quick. He was like, "Nah, you know what, Nelson, you're right. <laughs> I'm straight." Listen, That's it's true. all about knowing your man. If she asks him for a man to be within the vicinity of his wang and her hot pocket. That's a, that's a that's a yeah, listen. Exactly. You have to lay down the law enough in your relationship for her to understand that this is no, this is not even a possibility. Mm. Look, what else we got in these voicemails, man? Shout out to Nelson so for that. Fungus. Heck no. <laughs> what are you heck knowing <laughs> about? The feet? Is it the peanut butter? <laughs> is it the spitting in holes? What are you heck knowing about? Actually, most women don't like anal on the first time. Usually it takes working up to it before they can actually enjoy it. I read an article. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say this. I didn't like it the first time. I didn't like it the second time when my hands were behind my back. I didn't like it. I did not like it. So I just know that is not for me. That is an outer hole for me. Okay, that's it. That is it. Wow. Wow. Now, Ooh, what you can minutes. do, you can you can support me and give me the thumbs up in that shit. I don't mind that if you hitting it from the back. You can give me the thumb, but that's oh it. lord, because nothing else is about to make so. me thumb. Okay, give me the thumb. Oh my now lord, about thumb. I don't want nothing else. All right, that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm hiding mm-hmm. in the, sh- the shop in the ball. I think my boy is. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> they, they sounded like they were doing anal. Good grief! What? They Wait like a minute! They doing anal? Okay, Hexity. I'm sticking away, boat, daddy, daddy, daddy. Oh my god! Oh Here Always. They Here they go. Yo, what's up, Dad. fam? I just hopped in there. I seen the, the topic, and it seemed like y'all trying to have me sleeping in the garage tonight. So, nope, I'm not with it. <laughs> This is a safe place. E Ruth, don't hurt them. This is a safe place. I know I brought it on myself. I'll no blame to no one else. Now I realize I can't get over you. I do my very best Cause I can't find happiness And it's all because I can't get over you The sweetest 
wet that is under my titties right now. Okay. Oh my lord. Oh, All my right. lord. shout out to Mr. Baritone. <laughs> okay, so let's go further down my list. Um, oh, light touches in sensitive areas go a long way. It goes way harder than you being hella abrasive. Meaning. Stop doing too much and getting so little. Do slight things. Tease while you please. Please. Okay? Remember, you can tease while you please. Please. All right? And that's not me asking. That's me telling. Mm. Um, the next thing on my motherfucking list is don't put your five-finger discount in my hot pocket. Meaning, Whoa. Whoa. when I say I need all hands on deck, I just need your hands in different places on my body, not your whole hand inside where my kids came out of. I'm good. All right. Mm. I've seen people put their whole hand inside pussies and I'm just like, why? What are you feeling for? Did you lose yeah. something in there? Are you trying to check on your unnamed children? I promise you they will never get fertilized up in here. I'm not having it. We are good money. Get your whole hand out of Panani. No, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Wait a minute. When, as a guy, um, <laughs> if you're, you know, just, never mind. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out like the concept the guys have. Like when they go and measure, like you know what, her please tight. Let me go and put a finger in. Then it's like you know what, two might work. Then yeah. you're like, you know what, let, let me go ahead and just put three, because she might like three. After three, it's like, you realize you are, like, going, like, a whole, like, honestly, knuckles at that point. Because if you are four fingers deep in a woman, your knuckles deep at that point, because y your pinky is, like, shorter than your ring finger and your middle finger, right? Yeah. So you already, you are almost a fifth in. I've and, seen and whole forearms, Greg. Four arms, deep fisting puss. Like when we say, oh, he beat it up last night, I don't actually want you to beat me up with your fist. Yo, do not Mike Tyson punch out the pussy. That is not, nothing about that sounds amusing. It doesn't sound cool. And the fact that I just Google what that looks like, um, I am not going to be able to eat meatballs for the next six months because that like, shit doesn't. What am I supposed to explain to my OBGYN for my checkup? <laughs> Yeah. What am I supposed to say when he says, hmm, so you push the appointment back and I see that somebody pushed your whole internal insides back. How am I supposed to explain the fact that when I ask my man piece to beat it up, he actually mm -hmm. beat it? What type of um, restraining order do I get in place and I explain to the court when I tell them that I'm in an abusive relationship internally? That is, just, I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm still kind of stuck at the fact that people are going whole oh, fist yeah. in. That is. Oh yes. You know what? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I, I I will never, I will never try, and oh. it's just ain't supposed to happen. And that's one of them. It's a no for me, dog. Absolutely. You go not. to pee and your pee is coming out like the outside um fire uh fire thing. What yeah, the fuck? But is that? I, oh. But so, so, like that, that for me is an absolute no. Um, I'm not putting five fingers or a fist in no pussy at all. And I'm definitely not letting a woman stick anything in my urethra. That shit is a new kink. Um, it, it's what? not new, but it's popular. Um, yeah, men are letting women stick shit in their urethra. Like no. that, um, I, I'm not yucking anybody's yum here. This is just Greg talking. Um, the things that get stuck are the things that I'm sticking. And you are not sticking shit in something that I have, including my ass and my urethra. Um, yeah. I, I get it. Some people have like kinks that they want to, like they, they want to like explore and they want to learn new things. But sticking like toothpicks and straws in someone's urethra? What no. the? F I, Listen, I ain't gonna make it too gross. The two times that I was um, in labor and they had to stick a catheter 
within the small hole of my vagina. That mm-hmm. was fun. Okay. So if you're not a doctor and you, you're not going for a certain particular STD test as a man, there's no reason why any woman is sticking anything through that hole. No reason. Mm. Okay. And that brings me to the last thing on my list of my um, do's and do not. Just ask me. Okay. Mm. If there's anything sexually that you would like to do, don't assume, don't surprise me because I might fuck you to fuck up and not the way that you like. Just Mm -hmm. ask. I think a lot of people waste their time bringing other people in relationships or doing, um, secret dishonest shit on the side or behind people's backs because they think that their partner is not going to be with the shits. Your partner Mm -hmm. might have a completely different type of kinky side that you have not been able to tap into because you don't know how to have a sensual, venting, sexual way to communicate. Mm. All right. I have been in multiple relationships with men who do not know certain sexual levels that I have because they were not deserving and they could not tap into those levels because it's just the chemistry wasn't there. So there was no need for me to give them that level. It's not Mm -hmm. saying that I couldn't give them that. It's saying that they weren't doing anything to deserve that. So I kept that on ice. And I have been in a relationship where somebody turn me the fuck out to other things that I now enjoy. And that is why I cannot downplay myself to be like, it doesn't matter who I fuck. I just want to fuck. No, I just don't want to fuck. I want to fuck the way that I want to get fucked. And it has to be Mm. the way I want to get fucked or better. And if it's not that, then I'm not fucking. Mm. So just ask. You, you would be surprised at how many people just honestly just don't take that advice and say, you know what? I just ask. If I just ask, you can get so much. Hello? Don't assume. Just ask. Like, you know, I think you and I talked about this on a previous show and, you know, listeners were talking about if men would just say that they want to have sex with people, would that work out? Mm-hmm. And that would just, like, if you just say to a woman, hey, do you want to fuck? And if she says yes, then that's yes. But just ask, man. What's so hard about it? Yeah. Yeah. People got too much pride and they assume and they're insecure and they think if I ask my girl to do this thing, she's going to think I'm this. Listen, that's your girl or that's your wife. Okay? Yeah. You told me a The wife says hello. She hello? wants to interrupt. Hello. She can be here talking about the, you know, the just ask. So naturally, I text her and I just asked. So I guess that was, you know, her, her response to me asking. So shout out to my wife for being amazing. Um, that's, Lord I'm like, that's sad. But that is my do's and don'ts um, on the sexual acts. This is the mm-hmm. hump special. This is about my stay. Do you hear this? Do you hear this silence? Yes, this is a space where your ad could be played about your product, where your ad could be played about your business, about your show, because I believe we can all be great on different shows and platforms. So if you're looking for ad space right now, your ad could be playing here instead of me talking and instead of this silence. So next time when I do an episode and you want to promote your show, your business, or your services, hit me up at shegetsitpod at gmail.com. Now back to my show. Back to my show. Don't say I never gave y'all anything. I'm giving you the space to be great. Ariel, we are here. All right, that is just the second segment. The next segment is going to be Sex terms we never knew because we are here to educate tonight. All right. There are lots of mm. them, or we won't go all over all of them. I do not know the terms that Greg is going to share. Greg, have 
idea about the terms I'm going to share, but we're going to enlighten and we're going to learn some things tonight. Mm. Um, hold on. Before before you do these, we, we got to get through these voicemails, though, because these voicemails, I feel like I don't want to like time into what we about to talk about because it's going to get it's going to get ugly. It's going to get real ugly. So, Shan, since I can fuck you in the ass, can I eat your ass? I mean, is it possible if I could prop that yes. ass up and spread it apart and eat your ass? Yes. I mean, is that possible? Yes. I don't have any problem being treated like soup, okay? If you're down there and everything is um, liquefied and wet, I don't even care where that's coming from, and I don't need to know what you're doing. I don't need to know what you did. As long as it feels great, listen, I'm Tony the Tiger. Mm. Okay? Tony the motherfucking tiger. All right? Do what you do. Uh, maybe the whole fisting thing is like a uh, some kind of doctor fetish, baby? Mm. I think so. I Listen. think so. It's still a no for me, though. Yeah, this is a no for me. I'm good. I'm good. It's like when you look for some porn and then they got that way out shit and you just scroll it real fast. That's just, that's what that is. I, I'm not into that. Mm-mm. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Hello? The other night I saw some girl eating her own pussy. I said, girl. Man, listen. Um, what? You know what? I'm going to get to this, this sex terms we never knew because it's going to tie in. And please, Shan, please remind me of what I was about to say because. Oh. Greg was about to say some shit. Mm-mm-mm. About them porn sites. So just remind me when we get through this list. Sites. I got you. Okay, next voicemail. Yo, Greg, that gotta be fake news. I'm not believing it. No, no, no. No, I'm what, Chris? Explain yourself. No, he's talking about that urethra shit. Um, oh. oh, I'm sure. You know, just oh, like I, women are Spanish, women like their nipples to be pulled from here to Florida. Uh, I'm sure men have that type of pain kink. I'm, I'm positive. Okay. Twenty twenty. Well. Okay. Nope. Mm-mm. We don't do that. That's what we don't right. do. Not around here. Listen. Not around here. Six turns you never knew. Are you ready, Rick? Yeah. I, I'm. Boy, here we are. All right. <sighs> Welcome to Loudmouth Stereo. This is the last segment for tonight. Okay. We are at 9.55 p.m. on East Coast time, and we are about to blow your motherfucking minds. This is a hump day special, all right? My name is Shan from She Gets a Pod. That is Greg from Young, Black, and Bothered. If you are enjoying the show, please clap it up and share it, all right? Put your kids to bed. I don't want to hear no motherfucking kids on here because I have the belt at my desk. I will come through and knock at your door. Now, Mm. with that being said... Has anyone experienced a jelly belly in a sexual act? Greg, do um, not it. just assume. Think about what a jelly belly could possibly be. I, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even. Here's the thing. When I saw your list, I stopped. So I'm not even going <laughs> to. Nope. And I don't. I, I, I'm actually no, no. Mm-mm. No, nobody. Nope. Does any listeners have you ever experienced a jelly belly? Y'all no, take mm-hmm. okay. a jelly belly is when a man skeets on a stomach, and it can be female or male. That is a jelly belly. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Oh like, are God. people asking this to get done on purpose? <sighs> a jelly? Like, how do you say that without laughing at, you know, at, you know, hey, boo, let me give you a jelly belly. Like, what? <laughs> no. Jelly. Jelly. Oh, my God. You know what? Let me text my wife right now. <laughs> she got cuss you, you out. All right. Um, you got one. Let's go, Greg. Yes. Your, um, don't tell me it first. Let me guess. Yes. So, do you know of a term called sounding? Sounding. Um, is that when you scream into a particular hole and wait for an echo? 
pretty close. You were oh. pretty close on your first guest. Um, okay. you were pretty close. Um, close, but not not really. So, um, sounding revolves a metal rod, your urethra, and a strong will. Um, sounding is when you gently probe, unblock, or expand a passage area inside of the human body, most commonly a uterus or a urethra. Ew. Why? Yes. So basically, it's, I I don't want to read it, but it says it's more common for people with penises to partake in sounding, though people with vaginas also engage in the same practice. The implements for vaginas and, uh, was it the implements for vaginas and penises differ because vaginas have such shorter, differently shaped urethras. Sounds, which are sometimes called bogies, can technically be anything that's slender and that you would want to put in your urethra. Forums on sounding have mentioned anything from thermometers to knitting needles to army beads to silicone-based toys. Though the click one call it that surgical grade steel sound is the one that's the most recommended because stainless steel is easier to sterilize and you won't cut, break, or leak mercury into your body the way that a glass thermometer might. What? Yo, that's a no. Y'all for about me. to learn. <laughs> that's a no for me. Yeah, it's definitely a no for me. So that's sounding. So I guess what we're going to do is I'll read. You know, you and I can read the term. We have to guess, and then we give the definition because okay. that one. <laughs> you know what? No. Okay, this is what I was getting a visual of. Sometimes when I watch my flicks at night before I go to bed, um. Mm-hmm. You know, like how people go get their teeth whitened and they have that thing that like opens their mouth up all the way. Mm -hmm. I've seen people use an object to open up their asshole and their pussies where you can see inside that shit. Mm. And the, the device that they use is like something that widens it like a, like when you're cranking up a vehicle. Wow. I'm just like, why would you want to see inside a hole so bad? What is the fascination here? Yo, what are we looking now, for? Here's the thing. I agree with you. Um, one thing, though, that, you know, I don't say it excited me, but it was very interesting to watch. So I watched a clip on, I think it was X videos. It was, they had, like, they had stuck a camera inside of a woman and it was reversed. So you saw what was coming in, you know, coming in her. Like, so... Yeah. She was having sex and it showed what it looked like as a guy's like nothing inside of her because the camera was inside. So it showed all that. I was like, yo, that's what that shit looked like. And I was like, oh, I was like, so that that that's not a jelly belly. That's that's just jelly. Um, it, that's <laughs> definitely just jelly. But it fast fascinating, fascinating for sure. But whew. Okay. Oh my God. How, how do how do we get these voicemails? God damn it. See, we're gonna have Let's, to stop between like, every well, yeah. every turn we're gonna hear. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised nobody had the the name for Jelly Belly all these years. You know, someone is like a late discovery. Someone just like you know what I'm gonna name that and and, and have that be my moniker or whatever you wanna call it. I don't understand yeah. none of that on my stomach. I'm great. But Greg, did we really need to know that? And I'm not gonna explain <laughs> what I'm saying. You already know. Cam said he's offended. Yeah. I'm sorry. <clears throat> hey, how you guys doing? What's up, Eddie? Yo, what's up, Eddie? Hey, Greg. I'm, I'm sitting here with my nephew, and oh, no. it's actually no. his 14th birthday. Today. Oh. <laughs> I feel like a young kid right now that's learned way too much. Wow, this is this is like this is really yeah. This is it's going there. It's going there. All right. It's going this there. next one. I don't think anybody's going to guess. And don't cheat. Don't look it up, Greg. Do not I'm Google not. it. A B C sex. When I tell you that, what do you think? A B C. And I can't, I can't go back to the text to look at it again. So no. shit. Um, ABC sex. Fuck. Um, is it so? Since it's alphabetical, does it mean you do things in order? So is it like you, you have sex, you you nut, and then like 
you clean it? Like, is that the ABC? <laughs> That's cute that you think that, but it does have some form of order, but the order is depressing. Okay. So ABC sex, I hope nobody out here is having this within their relationship or their marriage. But ABC sex is when you are in a long-term relationship and the couple only fucks on holidays and celebrations. Absolutely not. That is horrible. Like, they don't love themselves. And I mean that. I I won't imagine. That That is... That's terrorism. No. This, you mean I got to wait till your birthday to do this? I think mm-hmm. those are like people that are in marriages because it makes mm-hmm. financial and long-term sense, not because we actually like each other. And within the mm-hmm. contract that we both signed to be in this marriage, we said we would fuck on these days. Mm-hmm. That is tragic. That is absolutely not, though. Not for me. Um Okay, sex terms that we never knew. My number two on this list is ski dump. Ski S-K- dump. Yes, you can't look it up. So it's spelled S K E D U M P. What do you dump. think that is? Um. Ooh. When a woman comes on a man's dick shaft and he takes his dick and dumps it off in her face or her mouth. Boom. Wow. Very close. Ve- oh! Damn. That was very... Again, you you were like two for two for getting close to this. Um, a, a ski dump is when you come on her face, including her nose, and slide your dick up and down like you're going skiing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it, it's not half that. bad. The black version of that would be Trick Daddy Slip and Slide. <laughs> you see? Okay. <laughs> oh do my God. You, Somebody going to kill us. With... <laughs> do These are getting good. To do. Okay. All right. Next one I got for you. I like that one. You know what I'm saying? That might be like a special request if we drinking brown liquor. Um, bacon strips. Don't look it up. Uh, what is called bacon strips as far as sex terms we never knew? Mm, bacon. Bacon bits. Is that... Bacon bits bacon. has to be when you... Bacon bits has to be when you like you fuck. Fuck. I'm trying to damn. I really want to look at the list too. I can't. So bacon bits, it, it sounds bacon like strips. bacon strips. It, it, strips bacon, is important. Bacon strips. Bacon yeah. strips. So is that when like you are like right like God, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> okay. So bacon strips is when you eat the butt machine white properly, right? Mm-hmm. Is okay. that it? No. Damn. Bacon strips is the meaty vagina, aka what? also called the beef curtain. So when women got the vaginas that look like hoagie meat and they got like that shit that look flabbergasted, just hanging there and chilling out. Yeah. Get out of here. All bacon strips. Get the fuck out of here. You'll never look Yo. at bacon the same anymore. Ever. Ever. Um geez, how the fuck do I follow that up? Um, okay, so my actually go, go ahead and play them voicemails because I have my list, but I want I want to hear some people. Yes, and that wasn't even gross. That was just very depressing. <laughs> very okay. Yeah. Very. Oh, oh skeet, 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 skeet. Oh, hey. ski, 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 ski. Hey, Lil John, you mm-hmm. trying to that shit back. I thought y'all was talking about food. I'm kind of hungry just now, but y'all talking about that shit? <laughs> hey. Yes. Oh, man. Yo, you said flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon oh, strips, don't wild, okay? 
I wonder if that's a sex category. I'm going to look that up tonight. Bacon strips. Let me Bacon. see. Um, oh, Lord. Um, so my next one is called duffel bagging. It's called what? Duffel bagging. Okay, let me, look, let me think. Duffel bagging. And if any of you listeners know what this is, you can speak also. Duffel bagging is when a man has beastie balls and tries to stick his beastie balls either in a woman's pussy or her mouth. Yo, you are, you are three for three with the closeness. So, Come on, let's go, let's go. So, so, so duffel bagging is you as when a guy is half hard and they stick the dick in trying to fuck. So that is called <laughs> duffel I bagging. I hate that. Like a I hate that because mm. after a guy does that like two times, he'd be like, you do it. Nigga, that's your shit. Control <laughs> your shit. Oh, shit. I got to share that on Instagram. I'm sorry. Fuck that. I got to share it. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh. I am thinking you're trying to get a flight on Sprint. Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Duffel bagging. All right. Duffel bagging. Duffel bagging. All right. Yeah, duffel bag. That is. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Huh, so, what's your next one? My next one is. Hmm. This is easy. What would you assume to be dirty knees? When someone says dirty knees, as far as a sexual term, do not Google it. What do you think dirty knees is? Um, for me, dirty knees is when shit. That's when she's giving head on a dirty floor, ain't it? So that's dirty knees. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. That, that's it. Okay, that sounds so as simple as it's supposed close. to. You kind of close, and this could be she or he. Dirty knees is what a person has after giving head. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, you got that down. All right. Let's go. Damn. Let's oh go. boy. Um, so my next one is called the Hoover. Ooh, the Hoover. Now I'm imagining, I'm visualizing Hoover Dam. The Hoover. Damn. Is yeah, this it's definitely a Hoover? A, a person hovers over someone's face with their ass cheek spread. In their mouth, a gate. <laughs> I use you know an what? word. <laughs> oh my god! Is this what this now, is? Th- um, not not quite. This one, you, you, you're three for four so far. You're three for okay. four, but you're doing damn good. So seventy five percent, you're doing good. The who you would girl doggy style on the floor. You reach for and knock her arms out from under her. Stand up and push her across the floor. What? <laughs> yes, that is the Hoover. Oh, you turned her <laughs> into a vacuum. <laughs> okay, yeah. is she bagless or no? Um, Yo. <laughs> did she say, okay. wait, did you say she bagless? <laughs> is she a bagless vacuum or no? Or do you have to order the bags online? Um. I'm I'm just, you know, as a precaution, I'm just feeling a way that her breast is going to get rug burn. Not the boobies. Save yeah. the boobies. Save the boobies. Like the nipples are precious. Mm-hmm. <gasps> okay, is there anybody out here doing the Hoover? Any takers? They, they, I'm sure somebody's in here doing the Hoover. Because y'all some nasty, <laughs> y'all some nasty folks. I hope your floors are clean. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all nasty motherfuckers talking about y'all want to do the Hoover, y'all want to do the ski dumps and duffel bagging, talking about y'all wanting to be with a young lady who gives you ABC sex. Y'all are wild. Y'all nasty. Mm-hmm. Listen. All right, I got a good one for you. You ready? Yeah. Dun, da, da, da. This has to be like my favorite one on the list. Dirty Sanchez. When a person mm. buys you with the dirty Sanchez. What do you think that is as a sexual term? The dirty Sanchez, isn't that like when you like you it, it, 
Isn't that when you like you're doing anal with somebody, you take it out and like you like make them give you head after? Oh man, you kind of close. You kind of close. And if there's anybody out here that has had a dirty Sanchez, let us know. This is a safe place. A dirty Sanchez is a man who likes to take his dick out of a woman's butt or whoever you prefer. I'm not I'm not shaming. And wipes it across a woman's top lip and she has a shit stash. A shit stash. Yes. A this shit is a, stash. This mm-hmm. is a th- that is nasty. And y'all are not getting into the heaven gates. Okay. The shit. <sighs> this makes Wow, I should have saved this one. Damn. So my next one on the list is <laughs> oh god. This one is called the Rafiki. The what? The Rafiki. The Rafiki. Okay, I'm thinking of a monkey getting Lion King. Um ooh. Are you wiping your thumb across foreign body spaces? You are four for five. The Rafiki is when you bust on a girl's stomach, you get some nut on your thumb and spread it over her forehead while saying, Simba. No, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> that is you know nasty. Oh my God, yo. Listen, Listen, when a girl says you've been on my mind all day, no shit. <laughs> yo. No. I'm sorry. Yes. Somebody actually had to think of that and do it in order to create that term. The fact that the definition says you bust on a girl's stomach, get some of your nut on your thumb. I'm done. Looking right there. That is I'm the done. wildest shit I've ever. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. I found out that I am a agorophilian. What do you think that is, Greg? Agrophilian. Um, either you are related to the Avatar people, or mm. that means that you... Does that mean you like to have sex underwater? You know, it sounds like it should make sense, but it doesn't. It means agrophilian are people who have a fetish for having sex in public places. What? They couldn't have come out with a better term? Like I know, but I'll take it. I'm not, you know, I'm one step closer to knowing who my um village is. Oh my lord. See, this is this is why we cannot have anything. <laughs> Listen, it's just the curiosity for me and the spontaneous. Like, you ain't got to buy me a gift, but you do have to give me in spontaneous places. I appreciate yeah. that. All right. Mm. I'm ready, Greg. Hit me. All right. So, this next one. Wow. <laughs> this one is called the Upside Down Fruit Basket. Okay. I can do this. Um, upside Down Fruit Basket. Shit. Okay. Is this a vertical 69 where you're pumping somebody's ass and balls into your face on purpose? Uh, not quite. Um, the upside oh. down fruit basket is when a man tucks his penis and balls behind him to resemble what looks like a banana and tangerines and moon someone. I just saw that last night, but he tucked his dick behind him and he was on his knees while she was sucking his dick from the back. Mm. And I said to myself, that is not a manly position to be in. And I don't want you be I don't want a man, my man, to be throwing his dick back into my face. Mm. <laughs> that is okay. Okay. All right. Before so I go what... to my next one, I'm going to play these voicemails. 
That is hella funny. I actually thought that was called jello cupping, though, right? The whole... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not hard, half erect, barely there, erection, trying to put it in thing. Okay. Wow. I'm going to write that. Jello yeah. cupping. Jello cupping. I... All right. Yeah, I got I to gotta look this shit up because jello cupping. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. And uh, dirty knees is actually a South Florida term used in the um, used in the eighties. Just to let you give you a little history, <laughs> okay, right? Florida. Florida. Okay. That is that was some nasty motherfuckers, man. Listen, we already know Florida is full of weird people. Yeah. Jesus, right. Florida. What is wrong with y'all? Listen. Let's go. All right. One. I would actually pay money to see somebody do the Rafiki on a woman, <laughs> but unexpectedly. She don't even know it's coming, and he does it, and it's filmed in a good way where I can see the reaction and everything. I'd actually pay money for that. Yeah. Uh, I bet you, you won't get Ruth. I bet you won't no. get you Ruth like that. Listen. I'm I prom- right now and look this up. I, gotta I will up. not give her the heads up. Go I gotta ahead. look it up now. I, wow, I gotta. Holy shit! It's actually a yo. There's a whole like, there's a tag for this on like X videos and Pornhub. Jello it's, cupping? No, the Rafiki. Oh, oh it's, the Rafiki. it's unbelievable. All right, so my next one. Anybody who is in here, this is not a racial thing. It is called the Arabian goggles. Arabian goggles. Um, shit. Damn! Yeah. I don't even have no a visual for that. I just keep seeing Aladdin. What does a magic mm-hmm. carpet have to do with sex? Um, I ain't got shit for that. Um, Arabian goggles is when you squat over her head and let your balls hang over her eyes. <laughs> what? Yo, I wish I could make half the shit I've just said. But Why? Do you want... Now, does a man request this or does a woman request this? I'm assuming a woman would have to because you would have to have a dude put his nuts on your eyes. Like that. Where have we this come as a people? This have to be um, blind woman sex for me because I have contacts. And if you get your balls hair stuck to my contacts, I'm going to have to put them away. So. And I can't wear my glasses because my glasses cost five hundred something dollars. So we're going mm-hmm. to have wine sex. Okay. I mean zero percent for effort, but okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. You you call some people up because you mentioned E Ruth and who shows up? E Ruth. Okay. I, now I gotta oh, play these let me play these messages before I go down my list. Yo, it's ballooning. You just shove it in soft and then let it get get in grow inside. <laughs> I like that one better. I like ballooning. Ballooning. <laughs> okay. Never heard of it, but thank you. Oh, Ed- God. Educating tonight. What is this Rafiki, y'all? What is that? <laughs> what can I'm missing something. And good evening. Hey, hey Greg. Chan. Listen. Yo. Kevin's hey, about okay. to surprise you with that Lion King. Hey, I, I, why do I pitch a Kev? Been in another room, and he's like, "Yo, I don't know what the fuck Rafiki is, but I'm gonna text E Ruth." Like, yes, <laughs> yes. Did he text you Rafiki? Because listen, sis, listen, you gonna uh, have a lot of kids on your mind, okay? Man, what Arabian <laughs> goggles makes absolutely no sense. It just sounds like somebody got really bored and was like, "What if <laughs> I call it what I just did to you, Arabian gla- glasses?" And it's like, what did you even get that from? Like, who? Wh- what? Wh- how did you come up with that? Exactly. Exactly. And what makes it Arabian? I don't know. That's the thing. Half the shit when people like came up with these terms, I'm like, yo, like, how and why? So <sighs> Arabian God was probably the worst one, but that to me is still fucking funny. I don't care. That is <laughs> you put your nuts on her eyes. Who thinks of this yeah. stuff? Very Only in America. <laughs> So, like, how long do you do the Arabian goggles for? You, you, you might need to do some research on that. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. 
Ibru, you know, but this is really payback bad. for when men want you to squat on their dicks on uh, in timeless time. How many squats can a man do on the face of a woman for Arabian goggles? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can do an IG um, Arabian goggles challenge since y'all want us to squat in your dicks for 10 days and 10 nights. Mm-hmm. You know, it's only fair. No, I could hear... In the message and I'm like what is this man saying What? why is this man saying these things why why ah. okay <sighs> so mm-hmm. she is hip to the shit okay mm-hmm. alright yeah, so I'm my sure. next one is called whoo the rubber fucky what is a rubber fucky Go, Greg. Guess it. A rubber fucky. Um, is that when like a, a rubber fucky? So, is that when a woman is like playing with herself with a dildo, and a guy walks in and she slaps him in the face with it? I mean, that is an option for her in this position. A rubber fucky is a waterproof vibrator used during long baths. Wow. Oh. Lee moly. <laughs> now, my question is after you use this rubber fucky and you come, are you clean or do you have to take another bath? Yeah, even just what? I'm just no, curious. I just see why is my brain here? Why 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 is why is my mind doing the things that it's doing right now? This is this isn't fair. Listen, this is not fair. The mm-hmm. way I'm about to tag up this episode when I post it, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some new followers. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to be upset. Oh man! All right, I'm ready for your next one. So okay, so my next one is called the Harry Houdini. Oh my god! Something that disappears as Harry. Um. Shit. Harry Houdini. Oh my god. What can disappear as Harry though? Is it when a woman is dipping into her 70s bag and just like women of the 70s they were proud about their hair on their head and she allowed her pussy to tap back into its bag of how furry can you get? And the man sticks his dick so far in that pussy that it disappears. Mm-mm-mm. See, where's your mind gone? Your mind is... I'm a visual person. I'm sorry. Am I close? Mm-mm-mm. I... <sighs> wow. The Harry Houdini <laughs> is when you're doing a lady from behind, you pull out spit on her back, and then when she turns around thinking that you nut, then you shoot on her face. What? Yes. This is that the assassination. Is... This is what this is. That should be no. called assassin. Yeah, that is, it should be, because if she don't like it, she definitely gonna kill you. So, Harry Houdini. I got no man <laughs> shooting my face up with kids. Yo, but here's the thing. If, as a guy, if you are hitting her from the back, and you pull out and you like if you pull out naturally she should be looking back she's not just looking forward right so you're telling me you pull out and you spit real quick and then as she's turning around then you nut that yo somebody's going to jail for doing this shit when men nut they hit you with the uh how can you spit when you do the uh and her thing that you came and you you gotta you gotta hit her with the double uh. You gotta be like, uh uh. <laughs> what? You gotta hit her with the uh uh. <laughs> oh, God. We are going to hell. We are definitely going to somebody's hell. Oh, my I'm, God. I'm saved. I baptized myself last night. I'm saved. Oh, my Lord. What, what was your next one? Because um, you, you have more than me. So Yes, I do. My next one is. If you see someone put MBA in their profile, whether it's on um, a stereo app, whether it's on IG, 
or um, Clubhouse or Twitter, what would you assume? Uh, MBA, I'm assuming that they have a degree of some sort and they're great at their task, their job. Um, wow. Um, don't tell me it's a sexual term. It is a sexual introduction into the gangster nation of married but available. You're shitting me. So people who... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a it's fucking minute. Available. Okay. So I people cannot... who've been putting... This whole time I'm thinking people were like masters of like business administration. And... Listen. So people have... That's their way of saying, hey, by the way, I- I'm fucking around. By the way, I got an MBA. Wink, wink. Yo, get out of here. See? <laughs> get... Out of here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I would have never. Oh my God. Yo, that is honestly out of the entire list you gave, that one is the wildest one to me. Yeah. Yo. I'm not going to look wild. at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't either. Because it's going to be somebody who actually might have an NBA. I'm like, oh, you married motherfucker. You out here just doing anything. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. And th- this is. This is my last one. So my last one, we are going to call it the Dirty Jenny. Oh no, that's my mom's name. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, she does have five kids, and we all have different dads, so it might coincide. Um, hmm, the Dirty Jenny. Shit. What is a Jenny? Jenny is something quick and easy. Shout out to mom. Sorry. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, she is going to come after you. Oh, my, I can't. Put... She doesn't listen to this show. Um, all right. Uh, dirty Jenny. Is it at a quick fuck? Is that a quick fuck in a Honda hatchback? That is my answer mm. for five minutes. So, a dirty Jenny is when a woman covers your nose with her vagina and then puts her asshole in your mouth and then she lets out a nasty fart. Therefore, she's filling your lungs with dirty air. What? Yes. So, she covers your nose with her vagina and then puts her asshole in your mouth and then lets out a nasty fart. Therefore, all you get is the the fart smell, and that's all you can smell because your nose. She closed it with her vagina, so yeah, that's a uh, dirty Jenny. I promise you, Greg is not requesting this. He is not doing this. I am not doing this, and I am not requesting this. This is um <laughs> some them shit. Okay, I would never yeah. do that. Yeah, that is, I. Just... Mm-mm. I'm not farting in your nose or your mouth. Yo, like what? Hey, you know what? I- I'm not going to yuck anybody's yum. If if you like a woman to fart in your mouth, do your thing. Me personally, leave me leave me be. I want no parts. I will say that I have stifled or tried to stifle a man with my mm-hmm. Oh, okay. lordy, lordy. He mm-hmm. forgave me. He forgave me. <laughs> Because I gave him blessings, blessing on um, blessings. Get it? Oh my! Um, oh my! Okay, so the list is up to me. Okay, what well, haven't we talked about? All right. Does anybody know what a leather Cheerio is? A leather Cheerio. What do you think a leather Cheerio is? Hmm. 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 A leather Cheerio. Um, damn, that, uh, uh, it has to be some anal, it has to be some anal. So a leather Cheerio has to be when, mm, is that when you put chocolate on somebody's ass and eat it? Listen, if the ass is already chocolate, you just need to bite it. Um, you're close. A leather Cheerio is just another word for asshole. Wow. If you think about the asshole and you look at it, it does look like a a gathered piece of leather. 
It does. But a leather, a leather cheerio. Actually, you know what? Because yes, an asshole could, or just brown skin could look like an ass, like leather. Therefore, yeah. Last night, cheerio. Juice from Chilling with Juice podcast said, "When a woman is able to make her asshole wink," and I said, "Listen, whoever that bitch is, she is very talented. How do yeah. you make your asshole wink?" That is a million dollar question right there. Cause how? Like do women but then again, I mean, is that technically her like trying to pass gas? Or is that just like, you know what? Like I'm just I'm showing you what I can do from the back, even though no, no. That's I'm not like, even trying to think like about it. The epitome of like a pussy flex, but an ass flex. Exactly. I'm I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to pass on that one. That is wow. Man. There's a yeah. listen. A show I don't know what is on, but it's a show where this girl has an ass mouth. Where <laughs> somebody, somebody tweeted, "I'm not about to sit and watch a show where a person has an asshole for a mouth for an hour." Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. Now. So yeah, yeah, disturbing. Yeah, that's okay. Me though. What do you think a nacho salad would be in terms of a sex term? A nacho salad. Um, mm, a nacho salad. Yeah. So what? What are nacho? So nacho salads are like chips and guacamole and stuff. So a nacho salad would that? Is that when you like you put food on the pussy and then you eat it? So it's like a nacho salad. Listen, you could put things on the pussy. And um, food could possibly be one of them from one of these people. A nacho salad in sex terms is considered an orgy because it's lots of different people. Get the fuck out of here. The fact Listen, that people I or- go out of their way to a nacho salad. Mm-hmm. I ordered nachos the other day from Moe's and they give me they gave me an extra burrito without my nachos and I was upset. But let me tell you something. I am not ordering a nacho salad in real life for my Not sex. No, I don't need that. Mm-mm. Nope. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to skip that one. Nobody, no ma'am. Okay, my next one is cattle tails. What do you think cattle tails is? Cattle tails. Is that when you like you you whisper in the pussy so you're like you're telling the pussy something, so like you put the pussy in your face, and then you just like tell it a secret. Is that like a cattle tail? Like, am, am I right? Please tell me mm. I'm right. No, you are not right. Damn it! Damn it! Thought I was gonna be close. What? What is it? Um, it is a multi-tailed whip. So a sexual whip that has different ends on it that do different things. Let's see. So, mm-hmm. men, if you're handcuffed and this lady says, I'm going to go get my cattle tail and I'll be right back. <laughs> Brace yourself. Yeah, Brace run. yourself. <laughs> you can't run. You handcuffed. You 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 signed up for this. You thought it was cool and you allowed her to do her thing. That's okay? fair. That's fair. You, know, you asked for this, kind of. Um, mm-hmm. The next thing on my list is what do you think hardwood floors is when it comes to sex? Now, I've, I've actually heard this one before, though. I think um, hardwood floors, that's like, damn, hardwood floors. Hardwood floor. you, you mentioned that earlier. Hardwood floors is like when a woman like wax her ass. So that's like when she just got a clean butthole. Or so- I think. Dirty knees. This is hardwood floors. When when you're talking to a woman, she be like, "I got hardwood floors." She got hardwood floor. Oh, oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. Hardwood what? floors is when you got when you got dark areolas. That's what that is. That's hardwood floors. That's what it is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hardwood floors. <laughs> That's it. Shout out to the ladies with dark areolas and big areolas and big nipples. We are out here. Um, no, mm. that is not what that means. Dang. Hardwood floors is basically when a woman has a shaved pussy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
I wrote a forest. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could be like, did you clean, did you clean your floors today? Because I'm coming to wax. <laughs> Come through. Come oh, through. I like that. I like that. I gotta steal that. I'm still that. That's mine. That that is mine officially. I'm taking that one. Listen, mm-hmm. if you leave the office early and you're coming home to wifey, just hit her with the text. Did you clean your floors today? It's coming from the wax. And she'll be like, What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm, I'm texting her ass right now. Listen, mm-hmm. she'll be like, What the fuck is Shan telling Greg? Listen. I'm making your marriage better. Um, mm-hmm. All right. What is an agrophiliac? Uh, agro, is that somebody who likes to have sex in the air? Like airplanes and shit and like that? And that should be what it is, but that is incorrect. An agrophiliac is someone who has a fetish for violence. Uh, 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 no. Mm-mm. Next. <laughs> Come on, doms. Is there any doms in the building? Hello. Yo, nobody. Like, here's a, like, I, I've seen people who talk about they like getting cut and shit. Like, no, just absolute. Take that and go. When, whatever shit, like, that's beyond kink for me. That is like, yo, like, all it takes is you to cut the wrong vein and now you're going to jail for murder or homicide or some shit. No. Just, mm-mm. No, ma'am. That's a no right. for me, doll. I have, um, how many do I have? I have one more on my list. What does one hole too many mean? One hole too many is when you are getting head from a lady and you stick your index and pinky, uh, your index and pinky in the pink and the stink, and then you are licking her yep. ear at the same time. Hey, okay. Um, I wish it was the thing, and I thought it was the thing when I looked it up, and it's not. One whole too many is just one who ruins sex with too much talking. Wow, but that makes sense, though. Yeah, that that absolutely makes sense because there are a lot of people who they like excessively talk during sex. And that's definitely a pet peeve of mine. We'll talk about those on pet peeves. But yeah, yeah. Um, wow, damn! I did not realize it was like a like a scientific term for that. That's a new one for me. Jeez, um, we have come so my, far. <laughs> my thing is, I don't like a lot of talking during sex either. I just need you to come through with the right actions so we can get this done. And I'm not saying get this done, like, make it fast, because if you're giving me 35 minutes or less, you could keep it. Uh, I'm Mm -hmm. saying just stop asking me questions that you know I'm not going to answer because you are not Mm -hmm. owning this pussy. You are only leasing it. Mm. Mm. All right. And that is Greg and I's sex terms. For our hump day special. I hope you guys learned yeah. something. Um, I'm going to play these voicemails. And um, any last thoughts or things you would like to share or educate us on, please toss them because we about to wrap up this show. Because exactly. I feel like most people right now are watching this shit show um, reality mm-hmm. TV right now that is on Twitter. And yep. it is on their news that um, they weren't able to get this education tonight. But mm-hmm. one thing between Greg and I, we will be sharing this on the podcast. So you will not miss a thing. But I'm going to play Absolutely. this voicemail. Anybody that want to leave voicemails, drop them now. If you appreciate the show, clap it up. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Shout out to Greg and E. Ruth and Mr. Baritone. Let's play this message. Shan, you have to think of that as a workout, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to help you get in shape, especially for 2021, you know what I'm saying? 2020 was a hard year, so you have to think of our sexual demands as us helping you get in shape. And I think, you know, all women need to uh, appreciate that. Okay. Oh, Kev. Listen. Oh, Lord, Kev, Kev, Kev. Mm-hmm. Kev, I'm going to let you have that. But since I don't have a dick to drop it low on, I'm going to have to do my squats. 
in my house mm-hmm. and that's fine for the time being. But this is the thing. If I go ahead and I miss my two hours that I'm supposed to do at the gym and I come through to a man and he cannot deliver more than three sessions within that time frame, I wasted my time when I could have been at the gym getting my workout. Because yes, mm. if it's not sweaty and wetty during sex, I don't want it because I want to be sweated out. But some mm. men don't come through with the energy that I need to be sweated out so I don't feel like I'm getting my workout. So I understand because some men feel like they are the reason why that ass is getting fatter. They are the reason mm. why you have that extra lift because they've been making you go pound town on that dick. And those men do deserve that credit. But for the ones that don't, this this lifting of this ass cheek, this toning of this body has nothing to do with you and that dick. Mm. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Lord Almighty. <sighs> what did you learn, yes. Greg? What did you learn? Uh, oh my goodness. I, I for number one, I learned a lot of things that I will never possibly do in the bedroom. So that's definitely that. Um I took notes as usual. Um you created the term slug dick for the first time ever. Not only <laughs> did I laugh hysterically, I put myself on mute so I could holler at the fact that slug dick is now a term that people are going to start using and you better credit she gets a pod and she gets a podcast because i have never in my 33 years of living heard anyone say or even think of the term slug dick so that one yeah if it, actually that needs to be the name of the show slug, slug dick. dick because when in in you know in six months when somebody says i created that term like oh no i got i had an episode in january and we created that term. You created that term. So shout out to you for inventing the term slug dick. Because some woman is going to be like, yo, I want me, I want a man that, you know, he better be putting it on me because I don't want no slug dick. And I'm going to be looking with a smile on my face. Like, you know what? I know the person who created that word. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be some simp out here thinking that's a good thing. And he mm-hmm. don't understand the definition. Exactly. Um, we, we learned that. Um, men enjoy pop rocks and fun dip in the bedroom. So there's definitely that. Um, you said the the quote of the night, which is, is she bagless or no? Nah? When we <laughs> when we were talking about the Hoover. <laughs> um, other things that we learned, uh, we do not want to ever have someone give you a dirty Sanchez. We learned that licking feet could be good or bad. So there's definitely that. And strap-ons are not the wave in 2020 so that is definitely something we learned other than that man we had a great episode yes we did i'm just i'm still fucked up off the slug dick i'm sorry that one top tier i'm fucked up top. off of the rafiki and i wish a nigga would try me with a rafiki somebody gonna try it no they not i guarantee you they gonna lose that thumb oh lord they're gonna put the thumb in your butt then Just don't put anything else to make me come because it's not gonna work. Mm-mm-mm. So okay. we can't have nice things. Mm-mm-mm. Nope, you cannot. Um, uh, just ask with the do's and don'ts and sexual acts. Just ask, so mm. you ain't have a black eye, and um, that man doesn't have to try and lose out and miss out. Uh, exactly. What else did I learn? Whew. Dirty Sanchez. I learned about that. Um, I'm a candy eater. I will not eat jelly bellies the same. Uh, <laughs> your kids, I don't like feeling your kids on me. And um, <laughs> if your kids is on me, please go get that hot washcloth and come wipe them the fuck up. Mm. All right. I'm going to play these voicemails and uh, we gonna, we going to exit this show so we can get back to this shit show, which is America on live yes. television. Yo, what's poppin' y'all? Big homie checking in, checking the vibes and frequencies and all that. What's Shout out to Hey Greg, shout out to She Gets It Pod, you know what I'm saying? It's a dope topic. Um, I always thought that all I had to do was get my partner to come. Like, if I gotta do more than that? Like, what else I gotta do? Like, what else I gotta do, man? God damn. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Mm. This is 
is what I feel. I feel like if the woman really, really likes you, she's going to require more levels of the way that you fuck and you give her sexual healing. Okay? Because you're speaking positivity here. But if she just wants to get off, then she will just accept you making her come. Mm. That is fact. Okay? That's why when people really like you, they can get annoying because they always want more than you have to give or you want to give over a period of time. What I'm doubt. Listen. I'm so sad that I'm coming in to the end of this, but I'm glad that I got the recap because between licking feet and slug dick, priceless got a new follower. <laughs> Shout out Welcome. To you. This is Loud Mouth Stereo with Greg from Young Black and Bothered and Shan from She Gets a Pod. Yes. yes. Um, don't feel bad. This whole motherfucking show <laughs> will be on She Gets a Podcast and it will be mm-hmm. on back and bothered just yeah. give us you know a couple of days and we'll have you right okay yeah. just please check out and please subscribe to young black and bothered podcast okay mm-hmm. Got good episodes on there for y'all to check out and she gets a podcast and we gonna get you right you don't miss nothing fucking around with greg and shan okay you Absolutely. don't miss nothing fucking around with loud mouth stereo we are here for you we are bringing you content even though there's hella jokes happening on your Twitter feed right now and on your television and shit. Um, and I do want to get into that, but we appreciate you guys coming through for Loud Mouth Stereo tonight. You know what I'm saying? You were nice, a nice little lounge crowd and shit. I felt mm-hmm. like we had like a key back at the house, you know, yep. it wasn't too many people, but it was the right amount of people and energy for us. So we appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah. And I, I'm going to just say this. Y'all better show up because we're not done this week. I, I know, know most people they they come on here, they get one show a week. And they're like, all right, they cool, they done. No, y'all get it worse on Saturday night. Saturday night, nice. I will not honestly, I'm sober tonight. The reason why I'm sober is because I gotta watch the baby also. So there's that. She don't want to go to bed. But Saturday. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Be back with another one on Saturday, okay? Same yes, time, eight thirty to eleven o'clock. We got you, all right. Loud mouth stereo. Put it in, <laughs> put it in your search engine. Put it on Twitter, and you get a fill in and that re up for the yes. shows that and the shows to come, okay? And if you're coming yes, tonight, mm-hmm. it's on us. Mm. But, oh, oh, but just, put your just on me. no, yeah, just no, no dirty Sanchez and no. You know, Rafiki's, please. No. Uh-oh. One last <laughs> voicemail, and we're going to be out. Don't put no shit on my top lip. Mm. Damn, I get it now. I got you, I got you, I got you. So the more she like me, the more I'm going to have to, like, fuck with the Rubik's Cube a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to have exactly. to see, oh, do she like this, or do she like that? Yeah, well, she don't mm-hmm. like that. All right, let me try this. Let me try a little. Let me try a little pinky up the butt. You know what I'm saying, let me try. Exactly. Let me try some. Let me try some. Let me try some. Uh, what, what else we did? What else we did? Let me try some. Um, some some whipped cream. You know what I'm saying, let me try. Let me try some ice. Let me try some. Uh, damn, what else did we do? She did put hot sauce on my dick one time. That shit was crazy. It was wild. It was wild. Mm-hmm. Bad night. Good night, but a bad night. Know what I'm saying I never, I will never regret that night. It was a legendary night. You know what I'm saying, but crazy. It was wild. It was a wild night. Oh, That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate the clarification, Miss. Uh, she gets it, pod. Listen, I'm gonna follow you on all, on all your joints too. Please do, big homie. That's big. Listen, what kind of hot sauce was it? Was it Tabasco? Was oh it, no. <laughs> what kind of hot sauce was it? Was it the healthy green hot sauce? What it, what was it? Was it some Wait, um, shit, scotch bonnet? Is that shit actually healthy though? The green one? Because that shit just yeah, looks it's ocean. basically green. It's basically green pepper um, mixed with other seasoning. Nah, they can keep that shit. I don't want none. Nope. Eat that shit right in the show. And it's gonna come out. Mm-hmm. But you know, I don't put it past nobody. People like what they like. Yeah. But I, I appreciate you guys. Y'all. A, a good crowd and shit. You know what I'm saying? Once the show says play it back, 
watch the fuckery on your TV. But uh, Greg is out of here because he got things to do. Shan is out of here because we got things to do. But we will be back with another one on Saturday. Just subscribe and like and you will get the notification. We will let you guys know on the IG. We'll let you guys know on the Twitter. Greg, you have anything else to say? Yes, I am planning on doing some type of rafiki but it ain't going to be on her forehead. I'm going to leave that where it is. So, whew, I actually said that out loud. She's going to kill me when she hear the playback. She's going to kill oh, no. me when she hear the playback. Oh, Wait, my lordy. We're going to be at <laughs> She gets it. Listen, listen. <laughs> this is some straight hood shit. We, we, was on, we was on that, uh, it was Crystal. <laughs> crystal? Oh, no. <laughs> that ghetto-ass Crystal hot sauce, bro. That's what it was, but it was wild, man. But yeah, because like I didn't think it was going like like burn, but that shit hurt. I mean, I understand, you know, you know, your dick is like sensitive and shit, but that shit that shit burnt. So like we had to stop. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get to finish that night, so I really don't count it, but I do count it because like it was a legendary night. Like <laughs> oh man, those old Virginia nights. In Virginia Beach on the strip. Oh my God. God. Oh, yeah, that Virginia just it, it gives me pros and cons. Listen, so many pros I, and cons. Virginia, but I've never um, made any pit stops. But um, yeah. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this. If Cal. you're gonna do the refigure, you gotta do it all the way, Greg. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will let y'all know the results on Saturday. Challenged. Okay. But but see, here's the thing. How how is he going to challenge me? Where's E Ruth? You and E Ruth, y'all need to do the 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 scar and the Mufasa. You need to just like hang her over like your your living room balcony, and then oh, no. like you know right before she just need to just land on top of you. That's what that that's what you need. You need to do the 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 scar Mufasa move if you want to call it that. So I'm I'm looking forward to hearing his story because I already know how Kev do. So I don't know. Listen, challenge yourselves to be better people. I ain't mad at it. But <laughs> uh Ruth is on the other side of the room giving him a look like I wish you would. I wish you would try to put anything on this face. Okay. That that is what E Ruth is doing right now because we are in sync and I know her. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know her, but I know her and I know. <laughs> She's not with the shits on that level. But good luck to you, Kev. Tell me how the couch feel. <laughs> Tell me how the couch feel. All right, y'all. We are getting the hell up out of here. We will see y'all on Saturday. Yes. Saturday. All right. Peace.